one hand, straight there like that. Hold it, hold it. Just wait, 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 so it makes my life a bit easier when I'm going up a hill. We're expecting it to really be on along the coast there and uh, even in this first 15-20 uh, k's when we turn right. On top of wheels, would you be running to the coast? Um, yeah, so just don't want to go like too deep basically. Anything from 30 to sort of 45 mil, 50 at the most, uh, otherwise you're sort of getting blown a lot and sort of risk getting uh, either blown off the road or blown to other riders and stuff. put a chain on this one and then try and make this into a, a bike. It has a little bump. So the course profile shows that it shows it real flat, whereas it's like it's like a, a pinch to the finish. Maybe with 500 meters to go. So that doesn't mean it's a full sprinter's race. It means it could be really good for um, for Brad, and it also means that people's lead outs are going to be thrown unless they know the finish as well. Which what are you whipping up for the boys, boys? I'm doing no, not for these boys, for you guys. <laughs> I've got to move really quick. Um, this is for the uh, the staff, and we've got Liam joining us, and you. So I've got to get this done in ten minutes. <laughs> packing the lunches you know but uh, we're getting there it's always uh, getting your car configured for the week you know and then being a short hops like me bloody someone else gets in it and then they move my seat around and I've got to move it all the way back forward and we just play a game of move on seat all week you know I'm trying to play the most awkward romantic songs as possible for my guests in the car you know just to make them feel uneasy So just don't switch off, eh? Hey? Make sure we try and win the sprints because they're a lot more even, you know, between a stage finish and an intermediate. Um, and I reckon long-term tour goals, uh, we've got more chance of the sprint jersey than we do with the KOM, so... Sprints, not the KOMs! No, no, sprints only! Thirty k's. How many minutes? Uh, three minutes. But they're they're starting to attack from the back, so there's a lot of echelons forming at the front now. Three minutes yeah. to thirty seconds on ten k. They were full going. Like, it was they just like to, what? Look at three minutes. It was forty riders, and Pete was in that front group, and then I think Pete dropped back. To, uh, to the others because we just had no one else there. Right? Get the end, and uh, unfortunately, our gap just got eroded away really quickly. We thought we were on, uh, you know, for a, maybe you had a chance to stay away, but when those uh, guys at the back get really going, and we've been going all day, you know, we've been out there for 140k. So even though we're riding at 50, if they, you know, step it up, um, then uh, they can ride, you know, 65k an hour, and it, the gap comes down real quick, which it did. So. Brad Evans for Mobius Bridgeline. Well done, Brad. You bug it up, Leah. And after stage one, as we head towards Ballarat tomorrow, Brad Evans for Mobius Bridgeline. Another one in the great right. Congratulations, Brad.